Hello, survivors of the apocalypse, welcome back to Atom RPG and playing hardball. Shocking event last time, right? But actually, I think a rather um, realistic scenario, unfortunately, at least for some people, in a situation like this year, the post apocalyptic nuclear situation. I'm still a bit shocked, but I think. Yeah, I mean, in a certain way, I think this is also a positive outcome, in a certain way, I think. Um, because they are put to rest and, you know, in this in this situation here, the, the society that, is, that exists uh, in this time here just doesn't have the resources to deal with someone so significantly traumatized like these girls and underdeveloped uh, and, well, yeah, it doesn't mean that they lose their right to live or anything, but um, they basically don't have a chance anyway. Yeah, and they would probably only form something very savage and, and evil, immoral. So, at least I think we shouldn't feel too bad. Yeah. Well, but well, what do you think? That's the big question as well. So, then we go to Kievsky Station. Let's check this one out. We don't have any jobs or quests actually that lead us there, right? Agatha's quest is complete, Maxim has been rescued. We saved the soldier of misfortune, Maxim Kaloshi, from the clutch of the Kriby underground family. He promised to repay us, yeah. Rakichan reaction wasn't what we were told it should be but oh well i need to discuss it with gosha the dragon department so the woodpecker struck again his newest victim is jerk you found the body of the last murdered stalker the detective asked us to visit the crime scene in a certain department store not sure what that is actually but well let's check the area there's i like these mushrooms they look like like corals, underwater corals. Okay, what do we have here? Radioactivity is elevated, but not totally horrible. What is this? Oh! Krasna Moskva perfume. Krasnaya Moskva. And well, that looks like a romantic situation here. Oh, now there's something we don't see every day. A semi-headless corpse of a man in stalker gear hugging a skeleton in a dirty tattered dress surrounded by withered flowers. Let's search the bodies. Oh, we, I think we saw this one before when we came through the shaft, right? Could that be? Search the bodies. Shura the Wanderer's last will and testament. TT pistol and the triple cologne. Well, let's read this one first. So, don't judge me too harshly, mate. Yeah, yeah, I can already picture you all saying I used too many magic mushrooms and developed schizophrenia. And you'd probably be right. Or not, maybe the toadstool really has powers that helped all those shamans from long ago step into the world of spirits. I think so, because I'm almost sure that Nastya is real. She's not an uncontrollable hallucination. She's always in this godforsaken tunnel whenever I chomp down on a shroom. At first she was all shy, then she told me her story. She killed herself because some dude she loved dumped her. She jumped under a train which turned out to be the last one in the city's history. A few hours later war was declared and the city got nuked. I came here again and again to visit her to talk about her joys and regrets and tell her stories about the world. She's bound to the place of her death, you see. Somewhere along the line I fell in love with her, then fell still more deeply in love. Today, I'm taking our relationship to the next phase. I'm becoming a ghost like her so we can be together forever. Her pale, translucent face is looking at me right now. I can see the sorrow and longing in her eyes. Farewell, guys. I'm coming, Nastya. I'm coming, baby. Here I go. The next pages are caked with blood, the writing almost illegible. Fuck, the, fur, uh, the first bullet just fucking tore my lower jaw. Oh, fuck, shit, fuck, fuck, it hurts so fucking much. 
I was out for like 10 hours or so, but now I'm gonna try again. Here I come, sweetie. Here comes Shrok. Oh well. He shot his jaw off, huh? Question is, of course, if he doesn't have a jaw, why does he have to write like that? <laughs> but well. So, let's take this one. And Alexander, you can carry a little bit more. Yes, you can. Very good. Yeah, here. So wasn't it like here? Can we get through here somewhere? No, that's the... Oh no, huh? It looks so familiar. Or was it like this here? Yeah, I think so. Could it be like this one here? Yeah, I think so, right? No. Hmm. Well. But well, I mean... Going for love is certainly a nice thing. And she should, shouldn't should have uh, killed herself in the first place, by the way. There's another body. Eleven. Yeah. Well then, let's, let's eat the, let's drink this one. There you go. And we've got a little bit of endurance. And it doesn't hurt to have some condensed milk in your stomach, right? So. There is more. Aha. Uh -huh. Jolba, another medal for you. Good dog. Okay, well, it's just... Got just a cave in here. Yeah, everything is broken and destroyed. As far as we can sniff. And then there's nothing else here and we can't go there. Okay, then, and here this. There's another body. Oh, no, well, it looks like we have not been here then. Red O, that's good. Exogen. And Alexander, another tin for you. We just leave those biscuits behind. Don't need any cables at the moment. Ah, yeah, the painkillers. Well, Alexander, you take them. Maybe you are even using them in battle. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Well, there was this one thing, like, right in the beginning, if you remember, where we could leave a rope down there, right? But there was a door that we couldn't open or something. But there wasn't... There's nothing here, right? No. Yeah, no. Okay, well. Well, then. I guess that's all over here. Yeah. That one. It was just this here. Yeah, we can't do we can't get through here. It's also full of rubble, okay. Now then let's get out of here. Well then, the lovers. I mean, at least there's a certain romance or romantic aspect about it. Also, like these mushrooms here, there's something eerily special about this place, isn't it? But well, so let's get out of here. Well, and then, well, we need to find this other place. Ah, but this is a total dead end here. Yeah, yeah. It's a total dead end, okay. So, well, let's go here. Yeah. We never went up there, did we? Let's explore firstly further to the west. We found a terrible pack of rats. Let's try to escape. Managed to escape. So, 
I, I don't think we need to fight any reds. We have enough red meat on us anyway. We are hungry. Well, let's have a look. Can find something where the, so we can make a fire. Some some plastic trash, right? Which is very healthy to inhale the plastic fumes. Fidel, how about some meat? You have some something that is relatively fresh at least. There. Roasting the meat. Oh well, actually we did we when did we lose so many HP by the way? Oh, we need need to eat one more. Oh, and by the way, Hexogen has a level and Julba as well. When did we get that one? Yeah. Roasting the meat. There you go. So, and let's level up. So, Hexogen. Well, your martial arts and automatic firearm skill is becoming like really epic. By the way, do we actually get the Sensei, right? Or like here, the Fatality Master. Toasty, you, you're all out. Close combat assaults are so brutal, they can literally cost your opponents not only their lives, but even their limbs. Yeah, let's put this one. Oh, he just, does he does he keep it? Yeah, let's see. Let's put both to 185, stealth to 120. So hexogen is becoming a really a real monster. Um, yeah, I've got eight points. Oh, let's put it to 88. Chinese philosophy. Or rather superstition maybe thinks that the eight is such a harmonic number, so let's have as many of them as possible, huh? While the four is actually the bad number. Yeah. Yeah. So like that. Julba is already our fatality master. I did I never saw that he actually ripped off any limbs or anything, but well. So, give him some more stealth. And then we are evening out the first aid back this year. So he gets some more. I don't know if, like, what if actually happens here with first aid, but whatever. So, and here, this is also good. He's got two points now. Oh, yeah. And. Oh, yeah. Make every shot count. Scatters lower times two with burst fire. That's good. So, and then hexogen. It's on its best way. Not only to be an intellectual writer and philosopher, but also a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. Julba, you also get something now. Um. No, we don't need the sequence. I like it to be the first. 10% chance to ignore armor. Double time, a double damage if the enemy is almost dead. Speed is everything in combat. Minus one. Oh yeah, we wanted to go here. Okay, well then, then you have more sequence. Which is actually bad. In my opinion. It's so like Julba shouldn't jump forward. But well. Precise Fang. Live Julba, plus 5 HP total. Second breath, during combat, your dog will get an adrenaline rush when things start going south. When your dog's health falls to less than half, he gets plus 15 HP. Now your dog has gotten over his night terrors and now sleeps soundly. I didn't know Julba had night terrors, by the way. Yeah. This year, the battle reflexes is certainly interesting, and the AP cost reduction. Knockdown on running enemies, so the people have not been running too much. Here we've got zero, and Fidel is also zero. Yeah, okay. Well, we, because we got the the cat's eye, right? Yeah. Okay then, but that's fine. So. 
Good little nap and barbecue. Let's get out of here. Where's the exit? There is one. We are not even looking at the loot on this in this area here. There's something here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, let's go further north. That looks like a dead end. Is there anything here? Oh, a gang of bandits wants to take our stuff. Well, and they seem to be very serious about it. Well, we are defending ourselves, of course, and our stuff. There's a guy with a sort of shotgun. Oh, yeah. Well, whatever we do now is all self-defense, right? You always, you always need to let the 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 other guys shoot you uh, first. First, they they are allowed to shoot you, so you can actually do self-defense, of course. Oh crap! Oh well, let's go forward like this. You will plead for a quick death there. Uh. Well, let's see about that. Our guys are a bit slow on their feet. So this is the shotgun gang, these guys. Oh yeah, Julba doesn't take so much damage, actually. There, yeah, Julba, nice doggy. He just ripped the head off, actually, I think. But well. Aiming. Oh, this guy's out of range. Maybe run forward and reach him then? No. Well, so then this. What? Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, well, then let's run forward. Like this. Is there someone else actually? Or was it like just a shotgun? Again? Oh, wow. Now that was one burst. Yep, I think we dodged that one. Good, Jolba. Yeah, good doggy. You should have gone on the right side now, but well. So now, now for the eyes. Good. For fuck's sake! Reloading, ending the turn, and then your others. Oh yeah, Fidel has the machete. Well, that was a precise burst. That was Hexogen. Oh, by the way, Hexogen has the big. Since when are you using the big one, buddy? Ah, since we actually have so much ammo for it, huh? Oh no, did he... did he... No, he didn't. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Although we actually we don't have so much ammo for this one. Since when did he... well, now we know that the RPK-74 is also a pretty good choice. Um... This is the regular AK, but with the better magazine. What? Oh, the modernized Kalashnikov, right? H22. This is A to 19. Okay, this is 17 to 20. This is the Soviet assault rifle designed by Sergei Simonov. Wasteland engineers added a foldable stock to this model. This is actually way better. Ah, but this one was the one that uses the special ammo. I, uh, this one, the short version or the small one. Yeah, also does the small damage. So let's, yeah, indeed use the AKMS. There you go, that's much better, I think. But well, this RPK-74 is certainly impressive. He just messed up the guy with one salvo. But that shoots through, through ammo like nothing, of course. Yeah, well. And then, of course, it's always a matter if the guys we are killing are actually worth it. One shotgun. Yeah, next oxygen. Oh, you can't. Then Alexander.
You drink one. But you get the endurance. And I guess we are leaving everything behind. The diesel. Uh, well, we have so much antidote. What's in there? Someone has their stash here. Oh! Iron bolts, those we don't leave behind. But everything else we leave behind because we just can't carry anymore. Two 9mm rounds for Alexander. Yeah. Some more red O. Let's eat this here. Julba. Oh, Julba can lick this one, right? Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, good. So, well, and that's that. We leave the canned meat for someone else. And these guys here, I guess this was their loot, huh? There you go. And there you go. And this one we also don't leave behind. Yeah, but well, everything else. Oh yeah, well. Alexander can take this one. So like that. And then we are done here. It's a good feeling to have full pockets. Especially if other people have to carry all the or most of the stuff. So let's get out of here. So oh yeah, and that's the dead end, yeah. Okay, well then let's go around here. Would actually be an interesting mechanic. Oh yeah, there's something. What's that? Um nothing. Okay, well, saving, entering, whatever it is. Nothing to be seen. Oh, that looks a bit bigger. Nothing here. Looks like we need some dynamite to blow it up. Technology, we see a soft drink vending machine. One such machine stood in all Soviet towns and cities. After the war, most of them were used up for parts. Well, let's check it open. Taking the bolts, we already know that. Take the contents out. Well, okay, that's just some wires. Well, Julba, our wire dog. Check it open, take the contents out. Okay, well, let's leave the cables in there. Check it open, take the bolts. Just one glass. If we had a real home, then we could actually bring some glass there. Uh, glasses. For our visitors. So we are good, a good... Uh, so I guess we need to, to blow this here up. Well, let's look at it. Looks fresh as if someone collapsed the ceiling on purpose recently. I need to find, out, find some workers who want to clear it out. Ah, there were like the looter camp has some workers, right? So then, let's go back to the looter camp. And then I guess we could probably... Like, I mean, who would... Who would... Uh, destroy their way back, actually? Who would do something like that? The Institute Station? The institute. It's interesting. So we could come from below, but we already found the institute. Was there actually um, was there actually a way to get in there? I don't know. I don't recall. But well, so here we can go through here. Oh, what's that? A bunch of demons attacked you. You gotta think fast or you'll be torn to shreds and pulled into hell itself. Well, let's defend ourselves. Nasty demons. 
M and well, let's prepare a double shot. Where are they? Do we sniff something? Can we smell them? Be quiet, guys. Can't see any demons. Can't smell anything. Oh, there's something. Ooh. They look extra nasty. Is this the mother? Oh, let's actually, let's go here. Well, so I'm I'm not I'm I'm a bit uncertain which is actually better uh, for Alexander. Spread is high rounds per burst. Spread is medium. For strength, ninety pistols. Uh, well, stun chance is ten. Crit chance plus two. Here also ten percent chance of causing panic. Stun chance. Crit chance. 815 so actually I feel that the PPSH 41 might be a better choice although it like it chews through ammo like nothing so there we go Jolba are you ready as well by the way Jolba oh well the last medal or rather the wires were actually the one that held him back. Okay, so there we go. I wonder if there's also a backpack for dogs. But well, we need to get back to Red Fighter Base to bring all the stuff away. Oh, someone snuck up. Good guys. Good, good, good. Joel Bar, stay back. Stay back, boy. Hold position there. We are just staying here. And the others, yeah, you guys can be as aggressive as you want. But be careful. And I think the big one can actually uh, do this fire. So let's attack the big one first. So there. Exogen. We also need to attack the big one first. Fidel. For the target, there. We go here like so. We should in the eyes and oh, 76. Yeah, but it's not dead. Fall back a bit. Good. It's down at two. Jolba, be careful. Run back, boy. That comes. Good. Guys, good. How many how many rounds are you shooting? Oh well, I think that was one of the reasons why I gave him the pistol again, right? Because he was like chewing through like crazy, but well, shooting this one in the head or the ice lava, good. That was a kill. A one shot. Good. Silver. Oh well, yeah. That was it's bad shooting. Why are you wasting so much ammo? Oh well. Aimed and bolting. There you go. There you go. We are the fiend hunters. Huh? Well, or rather, the fiend is not yet a demon. Yeah, let's have three. So, and then we are going getting out of here yeah that was the barricaded toilet so there you go let's follow this one up 
You need to get back to the looter base, by the way. Oh, well, it's here. Yeah, well, then let's go around, then we'll see if there's another connection, or then it's maybe this one here. Oh yeah, can go down here, well then it's that. How many bolts do we have left? Oh, a bunch of blood-starved rats prepares to feast on our flesh. Thankfully a group of stalkers rushes in to help. We can't even run away. Despite our lack of interest in rats. Oh, we've been totally ambushed here. Uh, oh, that's... Yeah, well... All these guys. Alexander. Come on, guys. Now, if they are so close, it's time to go chop chop. Throw melee weapons. Ideal. Hexogen. Guys, I mean, we, we are basically swimming in bullets, but it doesn't mean that we have to waste them. So let's run here, like that. And Aim strike on the red nibbler. Bam. 99. Now oh, that is something, right? We are strong. We've become pretty strong. Yeah. Okay. Stalker. Did he just shoot Fidel? They have, by the way, they have, got, they have green blood. Are there more? There's one stalker with a pry bar down there. No, there's nothing else. I need to, um, there. Well, glad to help you out, guys. You just shot Fidel, though. Need to be a bit more careful. Are you okay? Yes, we are. Be very careful in here. Yeah, yeah, we, we will be. We are going to be. Be very careful in here. Yeah, thanks for the help. I mean, we wouldn't have needed it, but death is around every corner in this place. You don't say. Well then, let's get it off here. The red nibblers. There you go. Going down here. Yeah, I think actually it was more a thing like that we rushed to the rescue. Oh, well, time to eat something. By the way, do we still have the uh, effect? Oh, we are a bit poisoned there. I guess that's... Eh, that's because of the... Now we for six hours we have the oh yeah well we have a belly full that's a good thing from the milk um i think it's actually time that we drank some water as well another one okay that's fine good so let's get rid of the poison Oh, this was the the female perfume alexander you can wear that you're allowed you're allowed to sniff on it from time to time so here let the kidneys do the work oh hexogen can't even carry one more bottle so that's what i would call a successful run and a successful looting trip so there you go get out of here and I guess we need to yeah we need to prioritize getting back to the looter base yeah and then I guess we can uh, do two things firstly find the workers is this the right direction oh yeah actually yes it is okay good um Ma tell Maxime oh no it's the wrong one oh well we can go around here then yeah like that and then we oops more i was just clicking m like map oh yeah that is actually in the background that well 
A bunch of demons attacked us. We got our thing fast or we'll be torn to shreds and pulled into hell itself. Okay, guys, be careful. Switching weapons again. Well, and Alexander, actually, let's let's see how you do with the pistol. Oh, come on. Yeah. Is this the right one? No, that's the regular TT pistol with the GK-17. There you go. Oh, well, let's eat the beetroot. By the way, beetroots, um, you can eat them raw and they are actually, they taste pr quite nicely. Like a little bit earthen, like the ones that I tried raw. Like an earthen, oh, we have a log, that's excellent. Fidel. Time to make something, and by the way, how about Alexander? Or does he still have the effect, by the way? For four hours, endurance increased. Yeah, that's actually fine. So then let's just keep this, the dairy milk. Um, let's make some regular bolts. There. There. Crafting. Oh, did Fidel make it? Well, fortunately, that worked out. Alexander, like this. So, and are we actually. No, we are not encumbered. Very good. So, but now we are at 14 bolts again. Good. Yeah, it's fine. So, it's fine. Let's go here. Oh, there they are. Yep. Beans. But no demon. Oh, no, there is a demon. Okay, there's always a demon, apparently. Oh, I just wanted to click it. But, well, they are... Didn't I just change the weapons? Alexander, you are allowed to shoot now. And then, well, those demons... And by the way, Julba, you hold your position there, okay, buddy? Then, yeah, let's shoot this one in the head. Right, loading. In there. It's very dark. Actually, I had hoped that we would actually attack first and kill this one here. Okay, but the new dog armor works actually pretty nicely. Yeah. One single shot. Actually, I think that's with the with this pistol, it's actually better. There's the big one. What's going around there? Well, it's running in the eyes. Good, it's blinded and dead. All right. Two bolts sticking out of its eyes. Forward. Good. Where, Alexander? Well, that's your own fault. Shot. Good. Um, Alexander, you should also rather, but well, then you just hold your position there. Dilba, you can hold your position here. And then we are going forward like there. You can shoot it and here like so. Still no. And I think actually... So then Alexander, no, you hold your position here. Jolba, you go there. And in turn. Ah, 
Nice. Oh, come on. Well. Prioritize the big one. We don't want to get its fire breath. Juba, you are allowed to sprint forward. No, sorry, wrong one. Switch back. Should target there. And Hexogen is far, far away. So whoever gets the first shot. So reloading. We're back to back with Alexander. Very good. Demon is dead. Well, actually, go around and then we are finishing it off. We have one aim to take into the eyes. There, right through the, the eyes in the skull. So the big one, well, it does have some fresh meat. There you go. We just take two. So, and then we're out of here. 766 experience points. That's the wrong direction. There. Quick saving. Getting out. So, and we've nearly reached the uh, stalker's base. But it also it looks like we have actually explored most of the underground areas but this one terrible pack of rats no let's run away from them we managed to escape there and then we are at the looters base all right and that concludes today's episode i think here here let's gather around the burning trash Thanks for watching guys, hope you liked it. That was like a lot of action. Fighting our way through the tunnel. Julba looks pretty cool, but rather savage as well. I don't know why we couldn't make that one ourselves or why we never got a recipe. Or couldn't even trade the recipe with the with the people there. Yeah, and I still have a bad conscience. But the shock is mostly gone now. Yeah, well. Yeah, and thanks for the comments so again so there were like these posters that said well violence is bad especially against children um well and of course i mean you know i i don't even feel that this teacher guy the father that he was utterly an utterly bad character um because he thought that it was like really the the utter end and uh, the horrific acts that he did he thought he needed to do because uh, otherwise humanity would complete be lost completely um yeah and i mean like and thinking that basically near or nearly everybody is dead uh, above That, that was basically, you know, like if you think like that, um, then then there was some logic behind him, right? Like behind his thinking, that didn't make it right, of course. And uh, when he, and that's what, um, you know, gives him salvation, in my opinion. Like when he realized that that his whole uh, building of thought was actually built on sand and was was not okay then and by the by the way he uh, immediately stopped these experiments yeah or like the, he stopped uh, trying to have children more children there with the with his daughters and then he immediately stopped and he was aware of the horrible of the horrible dimension of this whole thing um and then he immediately put himself to justice so and that actually in my opinion that uh, gave him salvation it was a bit sad that we couldn't save the others but that's what i wanted to say before you know like under the or in the circumstances there there are just not the resources to re-socialize uh, the children and to help them to develop yeah i guess they would have they would have had no chance 
um, and they would have just become something very nasty and savage, like what you can see in Wasteland 3, for example. Like, yeah, I mean, in that sense, Atom RPG is a rather tame game. Yeah, it's not, and what that's also something what I like. Yeah, it's not totally over the top, but it also doesn't explore the the real savage possibilities so much like other other games. Yeah, which try to be more humoristic about it. So the the horrible dimension of these things that some people do um, is a bit weakened. You know, otherwise you the, such a game could just tra traumatize you, of course, right? So, but well, what do you think? That would be my interest, and I'm sure other people as well. So please do share your thoughts and feelings about that. Um, yeah, and well, I hope you liked this episode and the Let's Play and all in its totality. And if you do, please do click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never ever miss an episode again. Hit the bell icon so you get a notification when something new comes up. And yeah, then we'll continue next time. Thanks and see you next time. Bye bye.